Hello everybody, my name is Mohit Desponde, and thanks for joining me. In this course, we'll be building an artificial intelligence that can detect handwritten digits. So here's some of the examples that are shown below. For example, we can easily detect that this is you know, an image of a 1, and the other one is an image of a 3. But we'll actually be training an artificial neural network to make this determination for us. So we'll give the neural network lots and lots of example images, thousands and thousands of example images, and then we'll see that over time, as we keep feeding it a lots and lots of example images, the accuracy will keep going up and up until we get somewhere around, you know, the, the lower 90% accuracy. So that's really, you know, really fantastic with artificial uh, neural network. And so we're going to be starting with just a, a small neural network, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about what happens when we have larger and uh, larger neural networks. So kind of the learning goals of this course are first, we want to talk about the simplest, most fundamental element of a neural network, you know, the, the neuron itself. And one model that we're going to be looking at is the perceptron model. And we'll see a little bit about how it's biologically inspired by the neurons in our brain. And so what happens when we take this model of a neuron and we stack them together in, in all sorts of you know, shapes, then we get a neural network, the network of these neurons. Then we're going to talk a little bit about how we train these neural networks using gradient descent uh, and backpropagation. And then we'll be looking at how we can implement these neural networks using the popular machine, lear machine learning library by Google called TensorFlow. And then we'll also discuss how we can do lots of cool visualizations of our training using TensorBoard. We've been making courses since 2012 and we're super excited to have you on board. Online courses are a great way to learn new skills, and I take a lot of them myself. Some of the courses consist mainly of video lessons that you can watch at your own pace and as many times as you want. There are also downloadable source code and project files which contain everything that we build in the lessons. It's really recommended that you code along, and in my experience, that's the best way to learn something. And finally, we've seen that students who get the most out of these online courses are the same students who make a weekly plan or a schedule and stick with it depending on, of course, your own availability and learning style. And remember that these video lessons you can watch and rewatch as many times uh, as you want. So this really gives you more flexibility to adapt to how you learn. At Zenva, we've taught programming and game development to over 200,000 students through over 50 courses since 2012. Some of these students have used these skills to advance their own careers, to start a company, or to publish their own games and apps. Thanks for joining, and I look forward to seeing all the cool stuff you'll be building. Now, without further ado, let's get started.